Hi, uh, this is going to be an introduction to the C scale. Now, frankly, there are very few tunes in the Irish repertoire in C, but the main reason I want to show this is that C is only slightly different than the G scale, uh, but it introduces the F natural. Um, in a technical sense, this makes you think a little bit more and makes you, uh, you have to make a reach down to the F natural here, and you have to remember not to play the fourth fret on the uh, D string, rather you play the third fret. Uh, but frankly, it's very much like playing G on the first three, the first last three strings, uh, just over one fret. So the G is. In fact, the only thing that's different here is to reach the the high F natural. So it's. reach like this. Now that's actually fairly easy to do, but it takes a little practice because if you don't practice it, you're going to automatically go like this. You just play in the G scale. Now, why do you want to learn the, the C scale? Uh, one, you want to learn to be a more versatile uh, player. You don't want to be stuck in just the grooves of G, D, and A minor, and A occasionally. Uh, also, it does introduce you to uh, the flat keys, uh, F uh, scale, for example. And while we don't play many tunes in F per se, we do play in G minor and D minor, which is uh, F and B flat. And uh, as you advance as a player, you want to learn these scales. So. This is the C scale. Now the S scale is this. Notice it's the same movement, just on the second string here. In other uh, lessons, I've already introduced a, a jig that uh, um, Angelina Carberry did in the key of F. Um, and you'll find that the banjo is quite suited for this for this scale. Okay, so uh, in the rest of the lesson, there's a there's a jig and a uh, uh, an exercise that I wrote to, to help you work work on the C scale. Good luck.